a thing you said has stuck with me is AFPS games screwed themselves because they marketed themselves as an esports competitive game. It's true they have, but yeah, I think I think no FPS game. I feel like it's a marketing trap. You shouldn't label a game as a super ultra hardcore competitive esports game, right? But yeah, it's a marketing trap. It really is because no casual player is going to want to touch a game that's fucking, I'm going to fucking shit down your chest with so many mistakes that you make. No one's going to want to fucking play that game. What the fuck? No one's going to even want to watch a stream like that. I mean, there's going to be a handful of people, right? It's going to be a smaller amount, but I don't know. You got to... You got to always look at it from a casual perspective. Again, design for casual, balance for competitive. And that's how you get a nice a nice middle ground. It really is. Like Quake Champions fucked up. If you've seen any of their old marketing, you know they fucked up. Entirely fucked up. Like they fucking st st stuck like a 12-inch dildo up their ass and fucking went in with no lube. That's how bad they fucked up. And starting the game off... Vote now. Oh, we got Clan Arena. Okay. Okay, we got a Clan Arena game. Let's go with Blood Covenant. But because they did that, it, it killed the casual scene. And eventually they got casual players, but they couldn't hold them in because there's no goddamn casual support. So it's like, wow. They fucked up. They had 15,000 players at one point. Within like six months, it dropped so hard. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's fucking wild. It really is. It, it blows my mind how you can fuck up 15,000 players. How can you fuck that up so hard? Ranger, report. And I'm not a game developer, right? I can't claim that I, I, I'm like an expert on this. But it just seems so hard to lose 15,000 to, to literally like 1,000. That just seems like an astronomical fuck up. Like Carl Sagan levels of cosmic fuckery. I can attest there's not really a good uh, good beginner's guide on YouTube. Yeah, and that's, that's another issue. Players have to go out of their way to go to YouTube. And, and a lot of people that are like older to the scene, you know what, they're fine with that, right? But look at it, again, from a casual perspective. No one's going to want to do that. Well, it's like no casual player is really going to want to go to YouTube. Round People that have an interest in the game, sure. Three, but if you're new to the two, game, you're not going to want to go to YouTube. Round, it's like, why should you have to go to YouTube for a shitty, outdated, like, thing, right? But it's, it's crazy to me. It really is crazy to me how they can mess up that bad, you know? The guys were written in manuals. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's like... Round begins in three, two, one. I don't understand two, how fight. people can be okay with having the game on, like, such old ideologies, right? They have it on such old ideologies. And because of that... Oh, I messed up. And because of that... They're, they're not surprised when the game doesn't live. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? What do you mean you're not surprised when the game doesn't live? It's like you put zero effort into getting new players into the game. And Quake Champions tried to get new players into the game, but they also didn't because they stuck with the same old ideology. And it's like, what the hell? What the fuck? You shouldn't... You shouldn't be at this point catering to 40-year-old boomers. Like, I'm sorry, you should be trying to keep those players, but you shouldn't be catering to them. You should be making, you should be modernizing the genre. And they kind of did that, right? They tried to, and I think they failed at it. But others would argue otherwise. And I think, I mean, I don't know. It's just, it, it, it kills me. We're going to go with Visor. One. Round three. A freaking text tutorial on rocket jumping. Exactly. It's like, what the hell is actually happening? But it's like, and on top of all of that, what's even crazier to me, oh, nice, nice direct. What's even crazier to me, it's like, even the developers of this game were like, oh, I'm not surprised we get 1K. It's like, what do you mean you're not surprised? What do you mean this is a niche? This game isn't a niche. It's the fact that you're not modernizing it. You're not doing anything to make strives to get new players into the game. 
Oh, I'm dead here. Actually, maybe not. Do you prefer QC to QL? Um, it's not that I prefer it. It's just I can't ever find a game in QL. So that's like the big issue with me. Like QL, I think could be alive. I think if they were to to start support backup for QL, they could turn it around and have and start making it more for newer players. And I think that would be probably a really smart decision, right? They could they could implement a queuing system like they did in Quake Champions. They could keep the uh, the server browser, right? That was a crazy shot that I hit right there. They could uh, implement a server, uh, uh, a queuing system, so that you have queue times that you can worry about, and you also have like community community support. They need to also incentivize incentivize game modes like team deathmatch over clan arena. Clan arena is only good if you're trying to learn the weapons and how to combo them effectively. Other than that, it's a pretty it's a pretty bad thing for the game overall. And on top of that, on top of that, they need to make specific maps that treat it more like an arcade shooter. And before you say that's such a shit idea, because trust me, I think it's like a pretty, pretty poopy idea too, but it'll help get new players into the game. And what I mean by theme maps are like weapons. So like specific weapon loadouts on a map. So like, for example, on, on uh, DM6, you can only get like, LG, shotgun, and then like another weapon. So they don't have to worry about so many different weapons. And then in duel, keep it like the same, right? Keep duel, you know, whoever's fucking better wins, essentially. Oh shit, I missed. There we go. Ah, he was stacked. There was no way I was winning that one. Just waiting for Diabotical, really? Um, kind of, sort of. I mean, I play Quake Live from time to time. But I'm pretty much waiting for Diabotical. I'm still gonna play Champions though. Like, I feel like a lot of people are just gonna hard quit Champions, but I don't think that's like a good idea. Like, I think Champions has some has stuff to offer still, right? Like, that's. Oh shit, I'm dead. Oh, what a shot! What the fuck? My rockets have been on point today. My rockets have been on point today, but um, it's not that I'm not, I'm not waiting for, what the fuck? Oh, nice shot, nice shot. It's not that I'm waiting for just Diabotical. I'm just trying to, trying to get as much, like, I wouldn't even call it practice time. I'm just trying to get as much out of Quake Champions that I can possibly get. Like Quake Champions, uh, that's, honestly, that's the way I felt about a lot of arena shooters. Every arena shooter can teach you something different, right? So, Quake 2 to Quake 3 have two entire, like, not entirely different skill sets, but they focus on different things. Like, Quake 2 is a lot more movement heavy than Quake 3 is, right? And so you can, you can learn to optimize your movement maybe better in Quake 2 compared to Quake 3. However, Quake 3 is a very combat heavy game compared to Quake 2, so it's like easier to learn combat through that. I'm dead. I screwed up there. And on top of that, you want I, the way I feel, if you're playing an arena shooter, you should be playing multiple games, right? So that way you can keep up your mastery. Like I'm all for focusing on one game and I think that's a great idea. But I wanna see I wanna see multi-talented arena shooter players, right? Being able to play Xenotic, being able to play champions, being able to play Diabotical, Reflex, etc. I think that is the coolest idea to me. And there are some players who are like that, right? Look at uh look at Death, for example. Death plays CPM and Champions, and he's played like Quake Live, right? So multi-talented players like that, and Rafa as well. Rafa could be considered another one, right? That was so bad of me. I shouldn't have switched to LG there. But that's uh, that's honestly what it comes down to for me. Yeah, you're not gonna. Yeah, and I I think a lot of that is actually like contractual obligation. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where that falls. But I think he has to commit to the Pro League before he can do tournaments and Diabotical's, really. It's a shame there aren't more ambassadors of the game. Enemy team eliminated. Uh, again, I think... I think, uh, part of that comes 
just from players not very interested in it, right? Again, they marketed the game in a way that cuts off the majority of people in the world. And that's kind of bad. Like, I wouldn't ever say that's like a good thing, right? Oh, I'm dead. Wow, he had two fucking directs. I can still come back from this. I ran right into that one. There we go. Oh! Fucking got out of that. Barely. I need to be careful here. Oh, nice shot. Good read by him. And that's another thing. That that pisses me off so much. I remember when Razy beat Rafa. I think it was at the Italian 2017 finals or 2018 finals. And Razy beat Rafa and everyone was like, oh, he wouldn't do that in Quake Live. It's like, what the fuck? Of course he wouldn't. They're two different games. What? What are you expecting? The game to just remain like Quake Live indefinitely? It's like, what the fuck? Vote now. We played a lot of Molten Falls today, but I don't want to do Corrupted Keep. We'll fucking go Molten again. Let's go back to Visor. Reminds me of they wouldn't win a different game. A D1. Yeah, it's two different games. And it's like, it's like, where, people are just hating at this point to hate Quake Champions. It's like, they don't, they don't realize that Quake can't stay the same forever. And I feel like that's why a lot of sub-genres and mods of Quake 3 and of Quake 4 and all that don't do nearly as good. It's because that they're not like Quake. That's like the most toxic mindset to have. Oh, I missed that pretty hard. There we go. Take that one. Oh. Wait, is this team deathmatch? Oh, it is. I thought we were still playing Slam Arena. And that's what I like about champions. The com Oh, what the, what the fuck? Warm up warrior bio here today with another Quake game. <sighs> they left QC for Q QL, I'd probably play it again. Probably not super serious. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. I think they could, if they were to, to put go back and start updating Quake Live, they could definitely like 180 the game and bring people back to it. However, will Bethesda let them? That's like an entirely different story. I fucking hurt to do. Quake Live had some fun CTF. You want to get shit on? Yeah. I think the thing is... A big part of why the games aren't even, like, popular with a lot of competitive people now, at least Quake Champions, is they don't want to put the time in to learn new systems, right? They want to play it like it's Quake Live. And you know what? That's fine, but you're going to get shit on. What now? Nick the Rat. Interesting name. Uh, I was about to vote fucking... Longest yard and be a dickhead. Nice bio. It's Nick the fucking rat, man. I'm fucked. Oh, look at all that damage. That juicy damage. I was on, I was on skill too. Oh, what a shot. Good shotgun. Uh, do you prefer the item timing of QC to other quakes? No, 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 no. I didn't know anything before Diabotical in terms of timing. And I 100% like 25-35. Way more than champions. It creates... So the reason that it's it's a lot better is, number one, it it it's like a, a way to flip it. So every, like, minute 30, after three item cycles, on 25-35, items will 100% be synced. And it adds a lot more meta to it, and it adds a lot of, like, other niceties right so every minute and 30 seconds that's that's where you want to flip the game like that's that's where your moment's gonna be i just fucking snake that mega heart did they leave where the fuck are they i feel like 90 percent of this game is when me trying to find people i missed the rocket the pressing incoming protection Is out control. Yeah, exactly. And the way Quake Champions does it is kind of janky. Quake Champions, their their fix to that is to make refragging a lot higher. Because you can refrag a lot easier in Champions than you can in a live or diabolical. Nothing 
QC is the only game where trade yourself exists, true. I hope when Diabotical comes out though, they fix the, uh, the, the, the player trading. I don't like it when like I can frag you and you can frag me at the same time. I hit that rail, what the fuck? All right. Oh, what the fuck was that rocket? Jesus Christ. My fucking rockets are on point today. What the fuck? Oh, I missed that really bad. Ah, uh, he didn't go up the jump pad. That would have 100% hit. Nice. He had a good. He had a good direct there. How much caffeine did you have, dude? I only listen. I only had one of these fucking mocha frappuccino things. Like I do not every day. Only the days I stream. Incoming quad. That shit's like fucking cocaine, apparently. What the fuck? So like eight cans of soda? I actually don't know how much caffeine is in these. I'm not gonna lie. Quad spawn. Imagine trying to fucking quad quad gauntlet someone. A lot of a lot of things, like I like to discuss a lot of this stuff. Like I'm really into, into a lot of like game design, business around gaming, esports, etc. So if any of you guys ever like want to talk about that stuff, I'm always down. You know, I, I love this type of uh, conversation. I'm so bad with the nail gun. I used to be really good with it, but then I fuck up. I, I fuck up. Right One of the guys who really like helped me get into champions, who would like you know got me really good at duel. His name is Pity. And he was the nail gun god. I shit you not. This man had like a 40% nail gun accuracy. It's fucking nuts. How good Pithy was at, at fucking uh, at nail gun. It's fucking wild. Incoming protection. I <laughs> fucking oh man. Rip Pithy, dude. Never plays champions anymore. He got signed recently to like a tier two org. Which is really good for him. I'm happy for him. Protection spawned. Enemy has the protection. Pithy and Napalm 3D. Those are the two people I'd say that really taught me how to play. Pithy, Napalm, and Death. Maybe three. Genic is another guy who really helped me out. Genic actually got into the Quake Pro League again. So really good for him. He's this is he's attempt he's two for two right now, or three for three. I don't remember. But Genic, uh, there was a time period where I'd only duel Genic. Or maybe not only duel Genic, but I would duel Genic the most. And Genic is a really good dueler. He deserves to be in QPL. I would, out of everyone, I'd say Genic is probably pretty high up there. There's a lot of like minor things, maybe. But he's he's at the top of the top. For sure. <laughs> 